I don't know. I haven't made a Kai Soto video in a couple of weeks, and I'm kind of interested to see what's going on with him. I know he's been working hard. I know it was disappointing to many that his name wasn't called on draft night, especially with the 58th pick to Indiana. It looked like an ideal spot for him, but they ended up taking the, that guy out of New Zealand. Overall, I'm going to look into an article to why Kai Soto wasn't drafted. Here's my take. Kai Soto is six, uh, six Kai Soto is seven foot three, can shoot, can defend the rim. Apparently, his lateral movement was very slow, and his body isn't NBA ready, which doesn't make any sense to me because of this. So, Kai Soto is how old is he? Twenty? He's twenty, right? He just turned twenty. His body is NBA. He's twenty. So you're telling me that a team in the late second round couldn't draft Kai Soto? As a developmental project, maybe you throw him in the G League. Maybe you, if you're the team like the, I don't know if the Rockets had a second round pick. I don't think they did. But maybe if you're the Houston Rockets, you end up trading for one and you're like, hey, we've got Hakeem Olajuwon and Shangun. Here, go work with uh, Kai Soto. But I don't know. I'm not an NBA GM. I never will be. I was confused by it because the worst case scenario is Kai Soto is actually not as good as people think. And he never makes the roster. But at the same time, how many of these players in the 2022 draft, specifically in the second round, will ever make an impact for a team? Let me let's look at something. So let's go to let's go to the 2020 NBA draft. 2020 NBA draft. I'm gonna look at who was picked in the second round and let's go over who's making an impact right now. Only a couple of years, but so Tyrell Terry, Vernon Carey. Daniel Arturo, yeah. Maladon uh, was traded to the Thunder. Xavier Tillman was traded to the Grizzlies. He was getting a decent amount of run. He was playing about 15 minutes a game for the Grizzlies in the playoffs. He's a pretty solid player. Saban Lee, Saban Lee's okay. I don't, I don't know, Jameer, uh, Jameez Ramsey. I've heard of him, Trey Jones, Robert Wood, uh, Woodard, Elijah Hughes. Mark, who, like, who are these guys? Jordan Awara is pretty damn good. Uh, CJ Ellaby uh, is pretty solid. I suck at names if you can't tell. Isaiah Joe is okay. KJ Martin, that's right. KJ was in that class. KJ is a bucket. Oh, not a bucket, but KJ is good. He could ball for sure. Paul Reed's like, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So here's the thing about Kai Soto. At worst case scenario, like I said, he, he's one of those bunch of players I just named. But best case scenario is he actually does – grow into his frame. Kai Soto has a very good diet. He works hard and he's got a whole country behind him. Of course, the Philippines, everyone's behind him. So worst case scenario is you use a second round pick and Kai Soto isn't good. But the best case scenario is he actually is a rotation piece. I'm not saying he's a star, but he actually is helping you. He's 7-3 with a jump shot that can protect the paint. And he's got a whole country behind him which means that if you're a smaller market indiana who the hell is watching a pacers game that isn't a pacers fan jdc pacers i I do like what the pacers have going on but i'm not turning on a pacers game are you maybe maybe i'm wrong but if i was a smaller market with definitely with a need of a center miles turner is not going to be there forever why would he be the pacers are in a rebuild they got rid of brogdon turner should be next will he i don't know why not take a chance in soda because there's a G League for a reason. I know Soto could have stayed in the G League Ignite. He ended up going over to the NBL in Australia, which, by the way, is better than college. Like, it's not even close. The NBL is growing, man. A lot of you know former NBA prospect, draft pick, people that were drafted into the NBA, sure, they didn't stay in the NBA, but that's still better than these 18, 19-year-old college kids. Like, and it's a grown man. They're, you know, more physical. I mean, I know MBL isn't exactly where Luca was playing. Did Luca play for Barcelona? I can't remember exactly where Luca played, but I know Luca said that it's a harder to score there than it is in the NBA. And it makes sense. Like, the NBA is kind of soft, bro. So, I, MBL definitely is more physical than the NBA. So, it's just kind of crazy to me that Kai Soto wasn't drafted. And a lot of people seem to think that. The only reason Kai Soto has hype is because he's Filipino. But the thing about it is, and I'm being completely truthful, 
I was told, first of all, by Americans, like it was people from America telling me to look up Kai Soto. It was my Knicks channel. I had people that regularly click on my Knicks videos saying, hey, check out Kai Soto. So I pulled up Kai Soto. I didn't know what his ethnicity was. And I started watching him play. And I saw a guy that did look a little bit, uh, what's the word? Uh, I don't want to say undeveloped, but he, he didn't look undeveloped, but he did look like he did look like a little bit skinny. He looked like a little bit. Uh, not clumsy, like Soto was athletic. Like he was blocking shots and he was catching lobs. Like, you know, you're not doing that. I mean, even though you're seven three, like, you know, a lot of seven three guys can't do what Soto can to begin with, but he looked like he needed to be not like develop, but also like, in the right scheme of things. Like he would have had to go to a, a team that knew how to utilize him, not a team like like I guess like the Warriors or the Hawks, the I think the Rockets could be a decent landing spot. Spurs, like a team like that, to where he could really show up with potential and his skill set. But again, it's the second round. Like I just went through the 2020 NBA draft and how many of those guys, like one or two, if, if that are making an impact in the NBA, like a consistent, you know, rotation piece. I'm sure there's a couple of guys in there that I'm not too familiar with, but I think worst case scenario is like Kai Soto could be able to come in Maybe it's for like 10 to, I don't know, 15 minutes a game and he can be a backup center, can give the, the starter a rest and he can defend the paint and he can be able to stress the floor. I mean, Isaiah Hartenstein, Isaiah Hartenstein, look at Isaiah Hartenstein. He just got $8 million a year in free agency by the Knicks. He got a, he got a decent contract. Uh, I know Isaiah Hartenstein, the last 10 games of the NBA season, shot over 52% from three. And obviously he, uh, when he was the closest defender uh in the painted area to the to the man with the basketball like you know 47.2 percent i want to say at the top of my head which is very good so he can protect the rim he can shoot but kai soto wasn't given a chance and i don't know i don't know why that is but this article is like yeah i mean chet hungren went second in the draft and he does have a very similar skill set. That's what I don't get is like Chet Hungren, oh, generational talent, second pick in the draft, but Kai Soto goes undrafted. I mean, Kai Soto is basically the same player, but he played in against professionals where Chet Hungren played against 18 and 19 year old college kids. And Kai Soto is how how much does Chet weigh? Like Chet, I bet you I bet I bet that Kai Soto has 20 pounds in him, maybe more. Oh, it just doesn't make any sense, bro. It doesn't. Soto didn't get invited to the draft combine. Before the draft, Kai was meeting with a lot of teams in the league, teams that most people thought were very interested in the young center, but all of that was not enough to push him farther and increase his draft stock. Oof. This is something I, I thought about getting into. I did get into this in my last video. It was the fact that he's Asian. Does something... Come into play here because he's Asian. I don't. I don't know, man. I I really don't know. I'll read this. So people might hate this, and as much as we do not want to think of it, Kai's ethnicity being an Asian, a Filipino, probably made him finish last in the party lane. I I just I do I do, and I got a not a bunch, but I got several comments in my last Kai Soto video. It's like the only reason this guy is even known is because he's from the Philippines. I don't buy that at all. I don't, because if Kai Soto, if you had a seven foot three African American center that is shooting the three ball at a not a necessarily a high clip, but I mean he's a above average shooter. Like you have to guard Soto on the three ball line, and he can block shots, he can catch lobs, he has a huge following. He's just twenty. You telling me that's not a second round pick? And, I mean, the fact that the excuse to why Soto wasn't drafted is because he can't move laterally very well is just completely ridiculous. Kai Soto moves very well for a 7'3 guy. Like, how many players in the league can move like Kai Soto? I don't – can any? Or Porzingis? I think Porzingis, I guess. But I just – I feel like these, like, 7'3 centers, especially foreign players, like, they're not soft, but – like, I look at Kai Soto, and I just feel like he's not really afraid of anything. Like, he's going to be very physical, and playing in the NBL will help him. I don't know, man. I have nothing to gain from praising Kai Soto. I have, you know, five, six YouTube channels. They're all doing well. I make good money from doing these videos. I just, I wanted to see Kai Soto play. 
I want to see more players from, especially like there hasn't even been a full Filipino ever in the NBA. You know, obviously different part of the world, but well, I guess not really, but uh, you know, Jeremy Lin, Lin Sandy. You know, I grew up a Knicks fan. I still like the Knicks. I remember Jeremy Lin and I remember the good side of Jeremy Lin and I remember the bad side. And I'm not talking about his play. I'm talking about, I mean, him being Chinese. It's, it's facts. Him being Chinese. He wasn't treated the same. I mean, Jeremy Lin, like it took him, he, Jeremy Lin didn't play particularly well. Like he was, I know he was with the Warriors and he didn't really play the best basketball, but he did dominate at Harvard. I mean, Jeremy Lin was giving you 25 to 30 bro, not, in high school, especially. He was, you know, I'm pretty sure he won multiple championships. So why wasn't Kai Soto drafted? I'm not saying that Kai Soto wasn't drafted because he's Asian. That's I don't that's not the only reason. I'm sure if there was other reasons to that, but I'm not buying the ladder movement part. Like, what were the reasons? Let me look. Um Maybe maybe his stock wasn't high because he played in the NBL, but think about that. His stock would have been higher playing college basketball or in the G League night than it would have been playing in a professional NBL league in Australia. That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit, bro. His body's not ready. He's you know he's has a seven five wingspan. He's seven three. He just turned twenty. He's the tallest player in the class. A reporter said that he was unprepared for the league. This just doesn't make sense. Like, Kai Soto, from what I've seen, has a good diet. He's strong. I mean, Kai Soto, you know, he definitely does look skinny, but, he's again, he's 20. And also, he's going to be used to physicality. Like, he's coming over from a professional basketball league in Australia. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, eight points a game. Like, if anyone looked at his stats and they're like, he averaged eight a game in the NBL. Yeah, because he played 17 minutes a night. If Kai Soto was getting 25 minutes a game, 30 minutes a game, his numbers would have been something like out of a video game. I mean, he would have averaged probably over two blocks a game, double-double, and I bet you he would have got drafted. I mean, there's no way he wouldn't have. Right? But I don't know. I have made a Soto video in two weeks. Maybe I'll never make a Kai Soto video again. I don't know. But I do think it's unfair that he wasn't drafted, and hopefully he does end up making his way to the NBA. Because I'm rooting for him, man. And I definitely do appreciate the, the fans for backing my videos. And hopefully you guys know that I make the videos because I care about Soto. I want to see him succeed. I followed him on my Twitter. Like, probably I'm over a month ago at this point. Kai Soto's awesome. 